Hello, and welcome to another episode of Dr. B Plays, Mellon H. Swamp. As you may be able to see by my character sprite, once he's looking both sideways and down, but not this way, this way he looks the same, but this way. He's quite devastated. Why? Because two of our friends fucking died, that's why. One of her had her neck explode, and the other one, in a cruel twist of irony, stabbed himself in the neck with that knife. Hey kids, wanna see a dead body? Ah oh, crap, I can't open the tarp. But yes, this is the bloody murder weapon. And we apparently collect bloody murder weapons. I don't understand half of the items in this game. I, I, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, no, no, look at this. Last time we got a golf club and a knife. Why? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, out of all the things we could have picked up, the knife, maybe, because we we don't want that reminder lying around that our friend is dead. But the golf club doesn't make any sense. Also, in the last episode, she said we were going to leave, and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave, and we're going to turn the volume up because apparently it was off the whole time. Now, I particularly don't like being in these woods because these woods are kind of creeping me the hell out. And also, oh, sneer! Don't do that to me. You saw it too, right? It was a big, black, silhouette type of evil following me through these woods. I don't like it. And I will stab it with this bloody knife. For all knives are usually pretty decent at stabbing things, with the exception of butter. But you can't stab people with butter knives. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't work like that. Butter knives are more like spreaders. But they are not... Shut up! You come at me, bro! Freaking. Do you hear the whispers too? I hear the whispers. There are whispers following me. They're following me. Don't you. You were really close that time. Please stop doing that. There are whispers and silhouette monsters following me through the forests. For foresties? Forestas? You know what? I don't even care what it's called anymore. Just let me leave it. Please let me leave it. I want to go. Let me go. Keep walking. Walk faster, please. No, not slow. Not slow. Don't stop. Don't. You bitch. No. No more. I can't walk anymore. I'm so tired. Where? Where am I? I don't know how to get back. Also, I'm probably going to die. Don't tell me, please. Y Yuka? Is that y Yuka? It is Yuka, isn't it? Are you not dead? Was that blood not your blood? Please tell me it wasn't your blood. No. Yuka. Yuka died. You're, you're not her! App apparently, it must... What? Take me back. Who and where? I... I don't goddamn know. I'm the one who wants to go back. Just take me home. Take me back. Remember, children, never vacation into swamps. Take me back! Take me back! Take me back! Take me back! Exclamation point. And we magically did the time warp, and it was all okay. Right? Please? What the f- No, not liquids again! You insist on leaving. I can't stay here any longer. Living with that secret is more fearful than death. Even if you're cursed. I'm not worried about curses. My children are what's important. And they're not going to be brought up right. Not with things like that around. So long. Take care on your way. <coughs> oh, shit. Are you leaving? Stepmother, thank you for all you've done. I wanted to flee myself. Many times I had the thought. But I was afraid to die. I'd much rather live keeping a secret. Go somewhere far away. As far as you can manage. Oh, damn. 
somewhere the delusions do not reach. Like space. Go to space, be an astronaut. Mother, will we be cursed? Mother, will we be killed? I don't know. What kind of messed up answer is that? You just tell them no. You tell them they won't be cursed and killed. I don't care if it's not true. You're their mom, damn it. You lie to their little faces. And you do it with a smile. Because that's your job. Well, in this case, I don't even... I don't know. I'm not a mother. Damn it! Where did Yamazaki get to? She's not in the old mansion. She went into the mountains, didn't she? I told her not to, damn it. She's gonna get... Oh, shit, I'm him. I am him. Sweet. I get to play as a man. A big... St she took the fucking knife, didn't she? That bitch took my favorite damn knife. Ah. It's not even the one he used to stab himself, either. It's just the one that I cut tomatoes with. And she just stole it. What is she gonna defend herself from the forest? Trees? They do have a shit ton of hit points, but that's not the point. They usually aren't aggressive. They just aren't. Yamazuzu, where the hell are you? Huh? Come out, woman. I need to... I don't even know why I'm looking for you. Because you're my friend, and I don't want you to die. Because, let's face it, way too many of my friends have died already. Two of them. That's too, too many. It's just not fair. Friends shouldn't die. Friends are not... Friend... Kill... You know what I mean. It's bad when people die. Question mark, exclamation point. Is this a village? I didn't find this before. Phew. We're gonna be okay now. I'll borrow a phone and call for help. Hey you, with the with the broom that looks like a hand. Please open up. Please. I need a phone. Don't tell me you're dead, please. I don't need you to be dead. I need a phone. Damn it, man. You're useless. Can I I can't even knock on this. Oh, I can't? Please open up. I will break into your fucking houses. I'm going to break them into. I'm going to break into them. Seriously? Everyone in this village is an asshole. Oh well, it's too deep to see the bottom. In a wooden box full of water. Please. Don't do this to me. Damn it! Nobody here! Son of a bitch. <gasps> Exclamation points? Lady? Yeah, it's not the lady I was thinking of, but there's a nice old lady. The, thank goodness, someone's here. Um, excuse me, madam. We were staying at a landlord's house, and a friend of ours got sick. That right, that right. There's lots of bad things in his house, yes. Huh? Uh, um, but yes, one of our friends is sick. Is there any kind of hospital or... Must be sad. Must be hateful. Must be bitter. Uh, are you listening? But, you know, there's more frightening things there. What goes unseen is far more terrifying. Question mark? Shall I tell you? You see. <laughs> oh, don't kill me. Die, outsider. Don't kill me, please. What the fuck was that about? What? What the? You juice! Give me back, old lady! She was gonna tell me a story! Damn it! Not gonna talk to strangers, huh? Ridiculous. These bitches. Maybe this house? I don't think I tried it. No, come on! Damn it! No one is willing to help me. No one at all. They must know about my secret. Yes, my terrible secret. A secret so horrible. Where is this? A gravesite? Can we read them? I cannot seem to read them. What about the, the cuckoo clock? Can I mess with that? There's a sign. <gasps> really? I'm sorry. The writing is really faded. Sudidi... Sh 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 
Tushutidle Tushutid Thomas Family Graveside Tush I'm not doing that again The Old Man's Family, right? Give our family protection eternally. Malice? Protection from malice? What the hell does it say? Seems weirder than a regular gravesite. Don't come in, please. You see that silhouette? That's a bad silhouette. What? Was there something there? Silhouette man? Silhouette man, are you here to save me? Because you're doing it wrong. You're scaring the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, run away. Is is the lady okay though? We never found her. <gasps> she's okay! And or she's dead and that's the mermaid trying to trick us into thinking she's okay. So we shall approach with our guard down and be like, hey, you're okay, and they'll be like, we're well, no, actually I'm evil rather than kill us. Bad guys do that, you know. Either way, let's just pass her up. Wow, ignoring a friend isn't an option. That's a game with integrity. How are you doing? Rin! Hey, are you okay, Rin? R Rin? Hey, what is it? Uh, are you crying? It's understandable. Two people just died. They happen to be our homies. Rin! Don't worry, woman. I will save you from... Yourself, I guess. That's creepy. Do you know the story? The story of the mermaid who died there. Pity her. Pity her. Adored to her very death. What goes unseen. More terrifying than what is seen. That is why you ought not dare come here. Woe be to those who near the swamp. Whoa! Whoa! Am I alive? You goddamn idiot. I told you not to go, didn't I? And with your lack of direction. Tot, 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 tot. You feeling alright? It's pretty chilly in the mountains. You better not have caught a cold. Tot, 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 tot. I'll go get some water. You get some rest while I keep looking, okay? It's the curse. Dun, dun, dun. Huh? It's all the mermaid's curse. What happened to Yuka? And Utah going nuts! Utah's always a little bit nuts, though. The mermaid hates the people of this house, but she can't touch them. So, she goes for outsiders like us. Oh, shit. Rest, win. There's no such thing as curses, okay? You're thinking crazy things from Fatiga. We'll find a map soon and get out of here. We're almost at our rope's end. We can't leave Yuka or Utah as they are. Ta ta ta. Aren't they already dead? Ugh. Sitaro, what's up? It's nothing. Just kind of a headache. Maybe I'm the one who caught a cold. Oh shit. He's next. He's next. This has to be the curse. I can't think of anything else. Even my weird dreams, the mermaid. But what do I do about it? And what's he trying to do to me? Mermaid, mermaid, swamp. <gasps> Name of the game? Swamp? Yes, it is a swamp. Maybe there's a connection with the legend and the swamp. Maybe. It'll be something we find in the next episode! Thank you for watching, and goodbye!